Today we're doing a review of the Greenwood uh, spray nozzle, uh, trigger nozzle. This is available at Harbor Freight Tools and cost about five dollars and uh, on it you can see there are several settings shower mist flat soaker angled jet um let's take it back to shower the other control is this screw thing so when you squeeze the handle that turns it on uh, but this is your flow control because you can see the angle the handle here it's not coming all the way back if it doesn't come all the way back I can't get the maximum flow out of it to best demonstrate that I'm gonna put it on jet and if I have this thing unscrewed see how the angle narrows and then when I go to turn it on get it out further you don't get much of a stream uh, to fully open this so I have some range to squeeze this to get this thing back out I have to screw the um, thing all the way in to get maximum flow and most trigger nozzles work the same way and then you get a strong stream now people may not be thinking about that and if you're wondering why you've got a weak stream it may be that your flow screw isn't in all the way or as far as you want it then the other control you have is the lock so once you you reach the strength of the stream you want you flip this little thing back here and it holds it in place so you don't have to keep squeezing it the whole time you're watering to release it you squeeze it in pull it up let go so you have different, uh, to demonstrate the different settings, that was jet. So if you're uh, trying to power wash something, you need a really focused, strong stream. That's what you would use. Shower. Let me put this in, make sure I'm on full flow. So if I'm watering, let's say, my raised bed, and I want to, like a rainstorm, pattern that would be a quick way to do it mist uh, if you've got something that's very delicate and you don't want to have a forced stream that might damage the plant you just get this fine mist out of there of course on a windy day you don't want to do that because then it's just going to blow away now flat you have a horizontal Stream, which is great because you can get a, a whole swath directed at whatever it is you're trying to water and kind of pinpoint where you want to lay the water down the other thing I'm going to skip over soaker and go to angled angled is like flat only it's vertical so depending again what you're what you're trying to hit a vertical or a horizontal pattern may be better and then soaker you just want to get a lot of water on an area at once fine now sometimes that's too much so what do you do you just <clears throat> unscrew this thing so you're going to cut down the flow by not allowing as much handle range so now that's less take it a little bit well that's really low <laughs> so if, so if i wanted um just a a small amount of water that would be a way of doing it so i've used this now for a couple of months it feels solid it doesn't feel like a piece of crap like it's going to fall apart in a few days uh, some of the stuff you get at harbor freight is kind of iffy this one looks like it's well made. Uh, I was impressed enough to buy a second one for the other side of the house. And again, at $5, it's hard to go wrong. Now, will it hold up for multiple seasons? I don't know. I haven't tried it that long, but we'll see. 
I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.